Hi everyone! Today I'm doing a video on how to make a tiled hexagon pattern for texturing 3D models, like for a honeycomb or some fancy tiles. Tiles just means that you can put out the images next to each other and they match, and you can just keep on going. It's necessary for seamless textures, especially on large surfaces. So first we need to draw some hexagons. You can use SketchUp or any other drawing software of your choice to make some hexagons. Just make sure you've got any perspective turned off and keep your view perpendicular to your drawing plane. So next, make a mat of hexagons. It needs to be 7 hexagons high and 8 hexagons wide. The problem is that hexagons don't fit neatly into a square, so we're going to cheat a little bit. Once you have made your hexagons, you need to cut off the outside edges so that they will meet neatly when tiled. You will need to make sure you cut straight through the middle of the hexagons or they will not tile properly. Like I said before, 7 high and 8 wide. Actually 6 and 2 halves high and 7 and 2 halves wide. When you're done, save your hexagons as an image. JPEG will do. Next, we need to open the image in a photo editor. GIMP is a very good free editor, or there is Paint.net or Photoshop, or you may have your own favourite which you'd prefer to use. Basically, we are going to fake squareness by squashing our hexagons imperceptibly. Here we scale the image to 500 times 500 pixels first. But you actually can leave this bit out and just crop your hexagon pattern and then rescale the cropped image to 512 by 512 pixels exactly. The thing about texturing is that most software works a lot better with square images, which also have square number of pixels. For example, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128, 256, 512, and so on. Now you have an exact square of hexagons that is tileable. So now let's test it on a 3D object. The easiest and quickest way of getting textures onto an object is to use SketchUp.
perfect squares and apparently perfect hexagons. But of course, this is not a texture you'd likely use on a model, so I'll show you the rest of the texture making process in a later video. Bye bye for now, and thank you for watching.